Uh, state officials call it bureaucratic bungling. Following up on a CNN Special Investigations Unit report last week, federal emergency supplies meant for victims of Hurricane Katrina head back to Louisiana. Here's our Abby Boudreaux. This is so important. We've talked to the At a news conference, top Louisiana officials blasted FEMA for not telling them that $85 million worth of supplies meant for Katrina victims existed, sitting in warehouses for the last two years unused. When you found out that those items were just sitting in the warehouses for two years, what was your reaction? Well, obviously, this is another ridiculous example of the bureaucracy not working the way that it was supposed to. U.S. Senator Mary Landrieu says her office took action right after seeing our investigation last week. Two truckloads are now on its way to Louisiana. I don't know what FEMA was thinking when it gave away $85 million of taxpayer uh, items. They need to start thinking straighter about this. Here are some of the items that are on the way as we speak, scheduled to arrive by Friday. They'd been given to Texas, one of 16 states that got the supplies, but still had some sitting in a warehouse. Earlier this year, one Louisiana agency was asked if it wanted the supplies and said no. But that agency didn't share the offer with the other state officials. Well, then. The head of Louisiana's Recovery Authority acknowledges a breakdown in communication. There's a little, enough blame to go around, but at the end of the day, it's about getting things down to the folks in Louisiana. Senator Landrieu says with the flooding disaster in the Midwest, what happened in Louisiana is a wake-up call for FEMA. It's another example of FEMA and the Department of Homeland Security not being ready for prime time. Now, I hope they get ready because there are levees breaching all over America. There are cities now underwater. I hope that this doesn't happen again. Abby Boudreaux, CNN, Washington.